OK, so we're ready now to import uh, into uh, 3D Co. And we're going to use Micro Vertex Painting, open, and pick the G4 face we've just created. So, take the smoothing off, make sure it's Keep UV, and no smoothing uh, down there. Uh, the texture size is entirely up to you, uh, whatever you're uh, working with. And click on OK. And it will come in without any uh, maps. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is add a map. OK. So textures, import, diffuse map, and select your base texture. This is one from uh, Daz's high res standard pack, I guess. Um, so I can't use this um, for uh, you know, selling or redistribution. Uh, but there are plenty of merchant resources out there that will do the job. Uh, let's go from there. Hopefully that's doing it. Now, first of all, you'll notice that uh, down here we've got layers. Layer 0 is the mesh. Layer 1, uh, in this case, is the DAS texture. And layer 2 is blank. Uh, we're going to paint on layer 2. It gives us the option of uh, distribu distributing that layer. Uh, so people can put it over other textures. Or you can put it over other textures. Um, and it will preserve the detail of the DAS map so we don't smudge it or smear it or do anything uh, we don't want to. Um, so I'll just have a quick uh, note about the brushes we've got. Uh, we've got sort of various stroke brushes. Uh, that's a dot brush. Uh, you can draw a line with that one. Um, it's with uh, kind of splines. So that's a curve. Um, this is stamp mode, which is quite handy when you've got uh, something you want to preserve the uh, image of. Uh, for example, my little upside down scrolling crossbones there. Uh, where was I? Okay. Uh, you can draw squares. Uh, you can draw irregular shapes, uh, just standard shapes, and circles and ellipses, and, uh, spline curves, and this last one is uh, just a polygon. This one lets you just paint on actual polygons. Now I've got uh, diffuse turned off at the moment, uh, so that's just adding spectacular to all those polygons. So I'm just going to get rid of that though. Okay. So, first of all, uh, a note about the brushes, you've got a couple of different kinds. Uh, you've got a layered brush and then an unlayered brush. Uh, this is an unlayered brush. Um, whatever shape that is, whatever colour you pick, that's what will go on there. Uh, let me get out of that mode first. Let's go that one. Uh, so, let me turn the colour back on again. So, that's what that will do. Whatever colour you got, that's what it will paint. Uh, and if you have specularity turned on, that's what it will paint as well. Uh, if you use one of these brushes, uh, you get the same effect. Obviously, uh, you have other layers to work with. If you look at them, it tells you what layers are in there. Uh, your alpha and colour and all those sorts of things. Uh, but you can turn them off up here. So I've got depth turned off and colour turned off and specular. That won't do anything. If I turn specular back on again, I'll just get a nice uh, specular map. Uh, to start with, I just want some colour. And a fairly uh, soft brush. Now, a note about sizing the brush. You can either do that uh, up here. Or if you right click on the on the mesh and left move it left and right, it will size the brush for you. If you move it up and down, it will adjust the depth profile. Uh, we haven't got depth on here, so that's not really very important. So I'm going to start with a fairly large uh, brush and just put in some area in there. Uh, the large brush just means I don't streak it too much. Uh, and being a lummox, I do that quite a lot. Uh, just a note, yeah, I'm not a makeup artist. Uh, I am a man who should never be let near a woman with a makeup brush. Uh, she'll end up looking like something out of clown college more than anything else. Uh, so I'm just going to pick a colour. Uh, what are we going to go for? 
Any guesses in the audience about her pinky colour? Right. Oh, well, that'll do. Uh, really messing about too much. So up here then we've got transparency at 100%. That means it will be completely opaque. So when I draw on it, it will just blank out whatever's underneath me. Um, to give myself a bit more control, I'm going to bring that down. Somewhere around 60%. So that I can draw on there and still see what's underneath. give a bit of a gradient for when I go back in again so I can make it more opaque down the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, so we have some nice pink eyes which uh, probably wouldn't look out of place in David Copperfield's circus. Uh, but we'll see. OK, so we've got some other tools here, um, as well as the airbrush and brush. Uh, this will darken, light, and saturate, sharpen, smoothing, and do your hue operations, just like in all your external 2D packages, basically. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, Increase Hue uh, to give a bit of... Uh, a little bit of fun in this. So it's not quite. Uh, oops, a little bit far there. So it's a bit less, uh, you know, screaming pink, really, and a bit more uh, gradient and interesting. Now I mentioned spectacular earlier. Uh, I'm going to use that now uh, with this dotty kind of. Uh, brush. Uh, so I'm going to turn off uh, my colour and go straight to transparency. I'm going to draw over there and it looks rubbish. Uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all I've still got increase hue on and I want brush. Uh, and secondly because in doing that it's just going to smear and slide all over the place. Uh, so I'm going to use the stamp in this instance to simply draw on my model and make some spectacular bits. It is of course cooperating 100% fully with me uh, and not working. Uh, it might be because I have the transparency down a little too far on that one. No? OK. Well, I hope simply put that down as a complete failure on my part uh, or complete incompetence because you can of course not use the stamp uh, very effectively with the airbrush so onto a standard pen just going to drag that out give it some rotation so it doesn't look the same and create a uh, glittery specular map uh, for our image. So a little bit under the eye. Oops, that's a bit small. Spilling onto the uh, skin a little bit, but that's not uh, a problem. Okay, so there we have a little eye texture. Uh, 